India is among the fastest growing economies globally. While road transport expansion serves as a catalyst for socio-economic development, vehicular pollution is a major challenge for Indian cities. Road transport is among the top three polluters in most cities and the top polluter in Delhi. While emission standard for new vehicles have advanced significantly, especially with the leapfrog to Bharat State 6 norms, there are concerns around high real-world emissions from on-road vehicles. Even though the standards for making the vehicle has improved, but to monitor and manage emissions from vehicles on the road is still very weak. The only strategy that we have today is that of Pollution Under Control Certificate, PUC system, which is not a very strong program and it is very difficult to enforce, very difficult to ensure quality, credible, authentic tests to get good quality data on the emission profile of the vehicle. PUC was designed for the much older technology genre. And today, with a rapid change in technology, PUC is no longer effective in particularly in measuring the real world emissions. In a scenario where only 23% of Delhi's vehicles turn up for PUC tests, smart monitoring of on road emissions has become necessary and inevitable in Indian cities. This is when new technologies like remote sensing device based monitoring comes into the picture. International Council on Clean Transportation along with the Delhi Transport Department and Gurugram Administration started a pilot project of remote sensing device based monitoring in Delhi NCR. Center for Science and Environment has been associated with this initiative. So what we are doing here is um, remotely measuring vehicles emissions. Um, we have a so-called remote sensing system here from the um, Opus company. What the system basically does is that it shoots a light across the lane here and the light goes from the left to the right of the road and then goes back and gets measured here. So it gets sent here and measured here. And what happens is that depending on the absorption of that light, you will get a reading for different pollutants. So you will get a specific light for NO, another one for NO2, another one for HC and CO. And you will be able to measure that in relation to CO2 emissions. And we are currently collecting the data from around 1 lakh unique and valid vehicles. Uh, uh, the emissions uh, measurements of these 1 lakh vehicles will be recorded. And the number plates also will be recorded using a speed cam. And the data will be matched with the vehicle registration database uh, so that uh, we can match the emissions data with the vehicle type, fuel type, the age of the vehicle, and we can provide a scientific evidence to the policy makers in Delhi and Gurugram. Air pollution concerns in Delhi and the Supreme Court interventions in response to the recommendation of the Environment Pollution Prevention and Control Authority in 2018-19 have already catalyzed the directive to implement remote sensing program in Delhi and NCR on a priority basis while issuing rules for nationwide implementation. Against this backdrop, the recently concluded pilot project on remote sensing monitoring has thrown up significant lessons. So we captured about more than 110,000 vehicles in Delhi and Gurugram, uh, over 20 locations. Some findings were very interesting. One, there is a massive variation between the real world emission and the lab values. That's one. A CNG BS4 vehicle, light with goods category, were emitting almost 25 times the, uh, the lab values. So bringing in BS6 has absolutely resulted in reduction in emission. So what we have to also realize that the pollution of Delhi, especially transport, is also impacted by the vehicles which come from surrounding regions. Not only Delhi vehicles, but the surrounding vehicle as well. The other interesting thing that we found was that while in CNG vehicles, uh, the particle matter emission was within the limits, the NOx emissions were on the higher side. So that is also an interesting piece that we'll have to look in in the future. Going forward, we need to reinvent the whole framework of on-road emission management and monitoring. 
we have to go beyond PUC and implement remote sensing monitoring strategy. The opportunity is already here. As you know, that the Supreme Court had already given direction to the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways to draft the rules for implementation. But the Ministry now has to uh, step up and notify the rules and give clear guidance and mandate to the state governments to implement this program. This needs to happen on an urgent basis.